greatest mind pain Nothing in between ever meant you lost When you were born it was thunder Fire lit in the sky as to lead us straight Now heavy rain pours out of you Good morning here from Europe. What the hell, Europe? Yeah, things went absolutely weird in Asia, but that will be, everything will be explained once again at the end. But now I'm in Europe, back in Albania, much warmer, but do before you turn this vlog off, Albania is somewhere where you have to be discovered. I've got so much to explain on this vlog today. I don't know how I'm going to fit it in a 12 minute video. Got photos, which is the most important thing. Albania, I've got four photos I want to shoot from just in this location today. Explain the road trip, what happened in Asia. But now let's focus right now where the photo is. We're here for sunrise. It is our third morning. It's cost me $50 in gas to get here in over three mornings. Spent all day yesterday. It reminded me so much like in Scotland, just sitting in a tent, basically waiting because it was raining, raining, raining. The first day, location scouting mission. So three days, guys, just to capture four, hopefully four images. One now down the valley. I'm just starting to see some colors behind the camera now, which I'm gonna hurry up and talk about this so we can get this image underway. But perfect leading line of the river, valley coming down, shooting at 18 to 55 on the X-T3. So I'm gonna just basically wait now. Actually, sunrise occurred two minutes ago, so it's a bit late, but I'm just starting to see the color now. So I'm gonna put the camera away and get this first image in the bag. So you're probably wondering why I left such a good photo at such a good time and haven't shown you guys. That's all part of being in Albania, that's why we're here. We are travelling to countries that aren't travelled and that's the whole idea. I don't want you guys to turn off this vlog because it is in Albania or Kyrgyzstan, Kazakhstan, wherever we were to. These are countries that I believe should be travelled. You guys are just starting to get an experience of Slovenia, how beautiful it is. Travel it, go and see it more. That is why I packed up the camera gear. I know I say all the time, get the image down and then head off. Make sure you've got all the information in camera. But today, this morning, I said to you, three days this took to get this image. Now I want four images. Before the sun pierces all the way through, we're off to capture one more image. Now, I know Alex and I spoke, this is probably the image that we really want to capture, but just because of the valley, which you're about to see in a minute, I don't think it's perfect on the first initial light. So that's what we're off to do now, hence the rushing, packing up craziness to go and get this photo. It's only about a 10 minute drive, but guys, enjoy this beautiful image that I just took just then. And hang around, explore Albania with us. Enjoy this image, guys. And this is why we come to Albania. Views like this. One of the best views I have seen in the Alps. And what's even crazier, we're parked about 100 meters away. Doesn't matter what age you are, what fitness level you are, if you have a passion for photography, travel, mountains, whatever it is, you can come here and achieve that. this. That is why I love Albania. I've already set up the image, taken the images because this morning was absolutely bonkers. 
the light was happening. I knew we had about half an hour. We did come out three days ago when it was really flat light and compose all the images that we wanted to shoot. It made this morning so much easier. When the light was correct, it made everything easier. Across the other side, I wanted to shoot the 18 to 55 at about 23 mil. Here, I had to shoot at 14 mil. So I had to quickly change the lens, just had to bring camera, lens, drone, recording gear, that is it. Minimalism, bringing here because we knew what we wanted to shoot. I'm sorry, I am sick, so if you can't understand me properly, along with the Australian accent, it's not a great combination. But everything here in this image is just picture perfect. Excuse the pun. Leading line goes all the way around from the river to the exiting of the river, leads you right into a small village. We've got leading line scale. I don't really have to explain this big clump of rock. It speaks for itself. It's absolutely beautiful. 14 mil, just under 14 mil, sorry, F9, and actually didn't three bracket exposure. I forgot to say on the other one, I three bracket exposure because I was shooting into harsh light. Here, I didn't have to. For about half an hour, sat down, enjoyed the views, and just took single exposures as everything changed quite quickly. Alex is doing some time-lapse photography now on the G7X, so it'll be really interesting to look at that because conditions did change extremely quickly. So I'm gonna leave you with this image right now. I have flown the drone already. Everything's been done because as I said before, it was going absolutely bonkers this morning. So guys, enjoy this image. Enjoy the drone, uh, drone footage, sorry, after. And we'll see you for the next, footage, uh, next image about 100 meters away. Photography this morning is absolutely perfect. Don't cover me, babe Your shadow's hanging over me Breathe on me Just breathe on me And don't cover me, babe don't lay yourself on top of me I don't want us to start again I'll get it in, I'm not your friend oh, oh. When everything's been said when everything's This been done. is my type of photography Everything is much calmer now We've got the whole morning to soak it up and enjoy Well this, this incredible view I've been demoted to my small man Manfrotto. Alex has taken everything I own, everything I'm worth. I'm sick, I'm run down, and he's taken everything. Alex is shooting time lapse once again. I've got the XT1 and the 18 to 55 out. I'm shooting right on 35mm F9 ISO 200. 
and the light is ever changing. The clouds, everything is just moving so quick. That's why I was doing so much time lapse this morning because everything is moving so quickly and it just creates a whole different landscape at every possible second, basically. So I've basically had some time to make some coffee, take some photographs, have some breakfast. Everything's pretty chill now. I'm loving Albania right now, it's pretty bloody sick. Oh yeah, by the way, here's this image, absolutely incredible. life. So I'm here at the last composition with no camera in hand. That's because the image, the subject that I wanted to capture is, well, you can't even see it. It's just cloud everywhere. But the whole idea, if I spin the camera around, was to get these vineyards, these beautiful vineyards here, the shed to the right hand side, going all the way into the main, there's a face in the mountain. It's just like a huge crevice, a crack to the left and a 400 meter drop that's clearly not gonna work. But I have got three images this morning, which I'm really, really happy about. I would've been a really pissed off man if I didn't get those images. Three days, hard work, grinding, and quite uh, mentally grueling to get those images. I think Alex is starting to realize how much it takes to get one image. And for you guys, I try and do so much for you guys because I just love doing it to bring you these images. So three days guys, two days of pretty much right off of weather to capture these three images this morning. Been a beautiful morning and I wanna take you back two weeks ago when we were in Asia. I was in Central Asia having a great time. I spoke to you guys right at the start of the trip how difficult things were and at the end become pretty difficult as well. To run you through really quick, I don't want to talk about too much because it still does anger me deep down, but that's fine. They overcharged us massively for the car, which put a huge dent in our wallet. And then secondly, they wanted a deposit of a thousand US dollars, which we agreed before they'd take out of our credit card before they come, which didn't happen, so it means we couldn't do it. But to be honest with you, I'm sort of glad that went on because we learned a few valuable lessons we need more people to, to, uh, to drive. There was too much driving for me to film. We need better time of year. We're looking at 25 to 30 degree minus temperatures to camp in, crazy. Also some roads were blocked. There was many things that just didn't add up and it was becoming, we were forcing to do it rather than, I didn't want to half-heartedly do it and then get back and think, what if, what else was out there? So we will do it, hopefully next year we'll be back out and getting that because it is unfinished business. But that has brought me to Albania. I love traveling countries that aren't very well traveled. I'm gonna do a video here, a short video like I wanted to do, no documentary like I wanted to do on the premiere, short video about tourism and why people should travel here. Hopefully this vlog today is a short teaser. 
bloody oath you should travel here, it's an incredible country. But that's basically what we're looking at for this short period. Two weeks in a car, all around Albania, making a short video, then hiking the Alps for five or six days. I'm gonna bring you guys those vlogs because I'm super pumped actually. I'm really pumped. I've had two days off in Orid, doing absolutely nothing. No photography, no video, no vlogs, and just relax to get over my pure angriness, so to speak, of what happened in Asia. But I'm here now, I'm happy, I'm doing things I love doing again. Just gotta get better and hit it on the head. Just hit the ground running and smash this video. So guys, please stick around. There's so much more to come from Albania. I won't be vlogging every day, just the highlights. I wanna concentrate on this video because I realize in Asia, video is bloody hard work. So we're gonna get back in this car now, drive to Jurocasta. It's the next part of the trip, up the coast to the mountains. That's a brief summary of what is to come. Guys, I hope you enjoyed today because I bloody well have. That is it from me today. Ciao. Come to <clears throat>